Alright guys, welcome to Delivery from the Pain. Now, I don't know an awful lot about this game. In fact, I don't know much at all. Um, but what I do know is a zombie apocalypse survival themed game. Um, it's not an open world like, you know, Daisy. Uh, it's all... Um, you've got like a map and you can basically click on buildings and you... You, it shows your character sort of running to them buildings, them locations, let's call them, and then once you're at the locations, you actually get to walk around and uh, scavenge for stuff, loot things, kill zombies, or not kill zombies if you don't need to. Um, you'll see when I get into the game, but it's um, from what I can see and from what I've like seen of a couple of videos I've seen, it looks actually pretty good. Now, this game has been out for a while. I'm not sure the exact date, but I think it was in 2016, I think. Either that or 2017, but I'm pretty sure when I checked it was 2016. But, it's a Chinese game. Um, so everything is like in Chinese. But, it has been released, or it has been updated, um, I think recently, very recently, I think, to English. So, everything you'll see, all the subtitles you'll see is in English. But for the main majority of this game's time, as it's been released, it's been in Chinese. Uh, uh, thankfully for me, though, it's now in English, and when I started watching the videos, everything was in English. So I've not heard of this game. Probably about three or four days I've seen this game. So I thought, it looks good, I'm going to try it. And it's pretty cheap as well. So anyway, it's called Delivery from the Pain. Uh, there is... I forgot what the Chinese variation of that means, but yeah. Um, some of the things, uh, some of the English subtitles, of course, it's like I think been translated from Chinese or something, so they don't quite always um, make sense. Let's put it that way. Uh, so yeah, it's like I said, it's a zombie survival type of theme game. Um, it's got a little bit of a twist. You do have once you've like looted the locate certain locations that you're in, you can go back to your shelter, which. Um, I don't know if you can upgrade it, but you can um, build new objects within your shelter for sure. Um, and you can upgrade them objects. You can at your shelter is basically where you do everything. You can craft, you can build. Um, and I think that's where you need to save your game to, but I could be wrong on that. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Um, but the last thing before I do get into it, sorry guys, is uh, it's based on like a time. So you'll see like the, there's a time in the top, somewhere at the top of the screen, um, that's constantly going around. It goes quite quickly, um, and you have up until six o'clock in the afternoon or evening to actually get to your shelter. Um, I'm not sure what happens if you don't get there in that time, but apparently I think that's where all the zombies come out. So I think you get into trouble or the game just ends or something. I'm not sure. So you have up until six o'clock anyway. So let's get into it. Uh, this is our character, Freeman Mason. Or m maybe it's the other way around, Mason Freeman. Because some games, and sometimes when they put your names on, like these type of things, um, in bios or whatever you want to call them, they actually put your name the other way around. So I would guess it's Mason Freeman is his actual name, but they use his surname first. Uh, so it looks like he was a police officer. Um, he's from United States of America, he's 38 and he's male, um, and this is obviously him. And yeah, this is your like stats, and you can actually upgrade this, um, you can change this. So, I'm not too sure how, because I've not actually played the game yet, it's just from what I've seen. Uh, this is background, if you want to sit and read his background, just pause the video now guys, and just go ahead and read it. But I'm not going to read it. Um, speaking of backgrounds, I'm not actually sure the background of the game. I'm not sure what's happened previously. So, yeah, I can't really give you any details on that. We'll do normal. So, um, <coughs> like I said, I'm not sure what's happened previously, but it looks like we've started to wake up in a hospital. And it's basically been overrun or taken over by zombies. Yeah, that doomsday there, guys, that's something 
with the the game's title. That's the Chinese version. Um, I think it's like something Doomsday or Doomsday something. But that's what the Chinese version of it is. So we can see the character running. So this is where it will start the game now in a sec. Now I've turned the music off. I can turn it back up in a minute. I just turned it off for the uh, the intro bit at the start, so don't get no copyright or anything. But I need to turn it back up so we can hear in-game sounds, because there's no like music and there's no like in-game sounds. There's no like different options. It's all in one. Um, that should do. You should, if you can't hear the zombies, guys, let me know. And for the next episode, I will put it a bit more. Um, but you should be okay. So, you can see there's some zombies look. I'm really, you don't really want to let them see you. Um, especially not now anyway, because I don't have a weapon. Uh, top right here is where we've got, um, I don't know, oh yeah, here we go. You just click on or double click on it, and it shows you your inventory. Now, we are very limited, we've only got eight slots. Um, we can have two weapons on us too. Uh, when you're back at your shelter, you can craft different backpacks, but again, you need to uh, loot up for the supplies to do that, and you need to learn certain um, things, uh, like certain skills. So, right, so many zombies here. Uh, I'm incapable of confronting... Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to read it before it even gets there. I'm incapable of confronting them. I guess I'll have to sneak out when they are not looking. Okay, so straight away there, guys. That is a clue in, in basically don't attack them. We haven't got a weapon. Let's sneak past them. Um, it's more aggro than it's worth. Uh, we need to sneak past that zombie quickly. Alright, so... Um, you have got to be careful, um, like you can't actually, like, uh, rotate the view. This is the view you get. I can't move it around. Oh, I've got to watch out for that zombie. Okay, he goes straight back in. Um, I'm just looking out for, like, loot icons, so there's nothing to loot in there. Nothing to loot. Oh, so there we go, look, there's our first one. You see where my mouse is now? Um, these little chest, uh, cabinets, whatever. You can actually loot that. There's any zombies. Um, let's go in here. I don't think you can interact with nothing. No, nothing, nothing there to interact with. So, you can walk around with the arrow keys. Um, and you can also just click if you want to go somewhere. So, it looks like I'm going to have to kill that one. Uh, so, don't actually click on the cabinet, you need to click on the search icon, and it will search. Oh, what we found. Uh, so we've got bandages, uh, plywood, and a dagger. Or, in my case, I'm going to call it a knife. So it looks like um, we've actually got some sort of weapon. Um, is there a... Oh, okay, there is a shortcut, you can just press B for bag. So, I want to equip that, so there we go, let's equip that to number one. So, to equip, again, I don't really know what I'm doing. I've seen some videos, and I didn't really know how to equip that. But I just literally clicked on it, and it come up. So, it's pretty simple. Um, you can click on, you can click on the things, and it sort of tells you what it does, what it's used for. Um, oh, so you can, like left click or you can right click doesn't really matter what you do so right, let's carry on so it looks like um, I've got to kill this zombie I need to sneak attack which I think you just literally creep up to them then attack them so he's looking the other way. So he goes, give you a knife there, so you can obviously kill this zombie, because there's no way of sneaking past it. 
Right, the zombie hasn't noticed me yet, but it's just a matter of time. Yeah, I can pretty much know what it's going to say before it says it. And I've not actually done this bit yet, so it's not that I don't know what it's saying. In this case, I better give it a sneak attack or, oh no, heavy punch. Give it no chance to counter. Okay, I don't know how you do stronger punches or weaker punches or, you know, stronger or weaker attacks. I don't know how you do that. Can we just have a look at... Yeah, see, there's no actual controls. So I guess... We just attack it. Like that. There we go. So to attack it, you don't have to keep clicking your mouse button. You just obviously select the zombie and just click, and then it'll automatically do that. Uh, you can't search the zombie. Um, I don't know how you actually... Ooh, okay, hang on. I pressed C. So we've got map. Okay, I don't actually know what this is. File... Okay, so this looks like as you go through the game and stuff, it just looks like it automatically might fill in and mm, I'm not quite sure what that is, but character, so it shows your health, it shows your, like, your stats, and it says about yourself. Now all these up here, these are, I think, like your happiness and your, your food and thirst meter and something, I'm not quite sure what each one is. But we'll be okay for now. Um, so, 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 ah, okay. So when uh, there's a zombie nearby, look, it automatically sort of sneaks. I'm just still trying to figure out what maybe some of the other buttons, maybe some of the shortcut buttons. Okay. Okay, so X. Oh, X is to rotate. So, down the bottom right here, you can see we've got these two black boxes, one slightly behind. The one on... Let me get out of here. The one behind is the what is like number two. Um, it's the one, it's like number two, or um, in this case, the one that's not equipped. So, the one at the front is the one that you equip with. So, I can either press X, or I can just click that switch arrows so okay that's pretty decent let's go and try and kill this zombie now again if you don't need to don't bother okay um i need to follow it down can she see me from there no it with a knife or dagger it's yeah okay so that was pretty easy so what do we get in here now I think it's pretty fixed what you get so if I play this or someone else plays this or if I play this a second third or fourth time you get exactly the same thing I think Maybe it might just be the starting area, but when you actually get out more into the map, it may be different. So, um, press B. I've got another weapon, and it's a bat. Let's equip that to two. Now, it doesn't really matter if it's one or two, because you can easily switch. But one thing to notice, guys, which I've just noticed, you have, you see this orange bar? It's going down on the knife. So... That means it's got a, um, what do you call it, before it breaks, it's only got like a certain strength. You can actually damage the weapon. So it's like your damage meter. Um, so we'll just keep with the knife for now. Um, I feel the baseball bat's going to do more damage or be better. So I don't want to, uh, for like such an early stage, like starting area, I really don't want to waste the baseball bat. 
Um, okay, shit, there's a zombie there. Okay. Um, so it looks like I've got to go this way, but I want to make sure I'm not missing nothing. Let's sneak past this way. So it looks like there is nothing in there to search. Um, I want to know if there's anything down here. See, I can't see this bottom corner. Uh, this zombie looks like it might be a bit stronger. Oh, okay, no, that zombie's pretty weak. Ah, I'm glad I did, because there's one there and one here, look. Let's see what we find. Uh, at the minute, I haven't seen the clock option, so it must come up later. Uh, so what have we got? We've got a coat, a worn-out coat that is unwearable but can provide some fabric. Iron chest, a shady iron chest that can be decomposed to provide some iron. And a coat, so that's to drink. So let's take them all, and if I believe rightly, you can click on it, decompose it. So that gives me some fabric, which I'm going to need. And decompose that, and I get some iron. Okay. Um, let's just drink this to save up some space, and me drinking this, we'll see which of these meters that fill up. Okay, so the one on the right with the, with the smiley face, so that must be, yeah, that's definitely not a drink item, that's a smiley face, so perhaps that looks like, I'm sure that is, like, your overall, like, happiness, um, so perhaps just drinking does that. You're beeping. I must be in the game. Uh, okay, nothing. So again, guys, you don't always guarantee to find something. Um, and if you haven't already noticed, you got your health meter at the top here. Um, it does, I believe, regenerate by itself, but very slowly. So you always do get a bit of a chance to still stay alive if you lose a bit of health. All uh, right. Is there anything? It looks like that might be something to search. I don't know if these zombies can see me through the window. Right, okay, well this way's blocked. I can't get past this bed. Again, I, I, like I said, I've seen a couple of videos and I've seen this starting area, so I know I can't get past that, but... Oh! Okay, you see that? There was an alert to noise. As soon as I started searching that, they got alerted. I wonder if I can just hide behind this thing. Right, let's just attack you. Oh, you're quite a strong one, aren't you? Okay, I didn't really lose too much. Um, and you can see you don't need to go into your like inventory to see your weapon sort of health. You can see the orange bar right there. Right, so I guess there's no more because it was running. Oh, now it's creeping. Okay, that is nothing. I can't search it. Did I... Oh, I can't get through that way, the beds. I was going to say, I need to search that. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right. Oh. Three, does it for this one? Oh, four. Oh, four. I really got no weight for that one. So you can see, it's pretty cool. He's aggroing just around that area because that's where he heard the noise, where I started to search. Right, I'm going to. He looks. No, I'm not. He looks quite a tough one, but we'll see. We've still got full health. Okay, we'll lose 
person. <laughs> One light. There we go. What was that six? Five or six? We lost a little bit, but you can see it instantly jump back up a little bit too. So, that's our learning curve. Don't start um, searching until all the nearby zombies are probably dead. Um, and for what look? Nothing. <laughs> that's the way it goes. So that there is the way out. But there's some things over here I haven't searched. How do I get to that? And what have we got? Wood. Iron. Okay, good. I've already got a bit of iron. And puff food. Puff food can't fill you up, but it's better than nothing. Besides, it will bring some back lovely memories. Okay, so... Eat. Oh, you can actually... I didn't realise you could equip weapons here too. Does that stack? Okay. Okay, so it looks like... Obviously can't do nothing, but... It looks like when you're on the explore bit, you can still equip weapons. Rather than going out of it and then going back. Okay. Oh, that's good, look. So I've clicked on that, and it's automatic. Ah, there's a door there. So you can click on this, and it'll automatically take you to it, too. What have we got? Um, some more. Uh, so can we just put here? I just want to decompose that. Decompose that. that I can't do it from there okay can we so the knife is almost gone anyway um so a bit of management I want to, I think if you overfill yourself, I think it does slow you down, but I also want to take back as much as I can, because when it gets to the crafting stage, I really need as much as I can. Um, um, equip weapon one, and that's already equipped you too, so I'm just going to keep it, it's almost broke. Um, you can repair items, but I'm not sure if you can repair this knife. And you need certain skills. Right. After this, all resources in this. Okay, didn't have time. Looks like you have to get to the safe zone, away from the safe zone. So I think this is now where the time. Wait, what time is now? Uh, so before six o'clock, look. So the fear, fear zombies. So this is where the time happens. So. I'm actually pretty full, but we'll still try and loot what we can. Um, see, so time is going really quickly. Um, okay, this one is pretty tough. don't know if that's going to be alerted. Nothing. Um, I don't know if there's anything down there, but we won't risk it. Look, it's already quarter past four. Definitely an interesting type of game. Alcohol alcohol can improve the drinker's mood. Can I drink Um I keep forgetting I need to unequip Let's drink 
So I'm going to put that there. That stacks. Okay, that'll do. I'm going to leave the knife behind. Let's see if we can find another weapon. Right, I don't know if... Let me eat that. Take that. I don't know if you can actually find weapons, but I know you can craft them. Right, there is probably one cabinet I've missed to search. But it doesn't matter. Let's just get out of here. So I think now this is where you go to your shelter. Yes, it is indeed. So I've never actually looked around this properly. Um, I've only seen what I've seen in the video. So this is your shelter. So you can't upgrade it, make it bigger. But you can... Across this map you actually search locations, find supplies and then eventually get to this area I think and you can escape. So yeah, we're very far away. Okay, and that's it. So yeah, this is the map and we have to search now. Voice is gone, is there... Okay, right, let's just shut that up. Okay, so we need a good night's sleep. So as you sleep, it does take time away, but also affects your stats. So let me just see... Can we use any of this now? No, so it looks like we must go to sleep. Because I know you can use them. That's my bed. A wooden desk with a pillow. Okay. Needs must. Needs must. Um, you can. I think you can upgrade your bed. Or build a, a better bed. Right. So look. Instantly, you can see we've got all these options. So let's just go through, see what each of them are. Handbook. So this is what your bookshelf. So you can um, this is where you basically upgrade your stats. Um, okay. Okay. I'm just having a quick read. I can. A proper read.
No, six I want to keep on time because I want to go out. It's obviously quite early in the morning. Intermediate for that. Okay, let's study that. And um, we'll maybe study one more thing and then we'll start to. Um, okay, I can't do any of them at the minute. Okay, so all these are locked at the minute. So I want to intermediate. Night minutes. Study this, and then maybe tomorrow or tonight we'll study that. During daytime, the zombies move very slow. Your best search time is between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Time is valuable, don't waste it. Okay. So it looks like. Ah, oh, so I've studied that one. Okay, so. I need to go out and start searching now guys so I'm just going to um, look at what all these ooh, 15 minutes to manufacture so to make bandages so this is where you make bandages or make certain things at your workshop uh, I've got 14 fabric and I only need 6 so that's pretty good mm, maybe I can use that later on storage chest I gather this is storage box And then we will continue um, with part two soon. Um, so I hope you like this. I keep saying I'm a lot. Uh, I hope you like this game. It, to me, it seems pretty cool. It's uh, it's a nice way of doing it. I can't think what it reminds me of. There is another game pretty similar to this, um, like a survival game where it's not in the open, like an open world survival game. So yeah. Uh, we will just, I don't know if I can save it, I'm going to try and save it, if not, it might automatically automatically save. Um, but we will see you next time guys, and have fun and good luck.